What is up, YouTube? That's it here, bringing you guys the last set of games I have featuring this absolutely amazing Dragapult, Colossal, 0019 Tails, Latias, Gastron, and Zashian Squad. This is a Series 11 team. We're on the ranked ladder. And before we get into the games, I just want to ask you guys the question of the day. What is your favorite non-Pokemon game? I actually get this question a lot on stream because if I stream some, you know, other games on stream, people always ask me, that's what are your favorite games? And I always like to say, I usually like a lot more like strategy S games, you know, even if we're not talking about, um, you know, like video games in general, I, I like chess, uh, I like Go, those are some of my absolute favorite games and I love playing the browser versions of those. But I also really like like RTS games like StarCraft, I like the old Warcraft games, I love World of Warcraft. Those are some of my personal favorite games. I also like some uh, some JRPGs, you know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of like the, the Kingdom Hearts version where you have like a character in like an action RPG, I'm not as big of a fan of those, but like, you know, old school Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Dragon Quest games, Dragon Quest Monsters, those are some of my absolute favorite games, so please let me know in the comments what some of your absolute favorite games are, I always love reading you guys' comments, it's the best part of my day, is waking up, getting some coffee, and uh, reading you guys' comments, uh, without further ado, let's get right into these games, I want to say before we get into it though, um, this team is going to be up on Patreon, so if you guys like this team, if you guys like the way it plays, you want to see all of its EVs, uh, know a little bit more about it, use the team for yourself, think about checking out the Patreon, there's a link to, the, to that in the comments as well. Other than that, thank you guys so much for supporting my content. Let's hop right into these games and send this team off with a bang. Here we go. All right, a little bit of Groudon to deal with Colossal. I really like Ninetales. It feels like 2017 all over again. Or sorry, is it 20? That's not, yeah, it's 2017. Ninetales versus Kartana. The two mons in the game that have the 109 base speed are back at it. Let's see though. I think, I think like Cole can actually just be like super good. Like Cole Pult can be really, really nice. Do I actually want Cole or do I want the Latias? Ooh, Latias is good here because Latias outspeeds all those. Even by like the one point. So I actually think like Latias Cole is probably a little bit better. I think we're going to bring the Gastro just because, um, it's busted. <laughs> Actually, do we want Gastro? Because they're going to get the Trick Room up. I can't stop it. I think it's probably... These are the best ones, but... We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. This is the first game of the day. Got to get my warm-up going. But let's see. Yeah, they could literally just go, like, into the Porygon. And I'd set my TR... Sorry, I'd set my Cole. I'd probably kill the Indity. And then it's all a matter of, like, getting the ally switch off. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's That's how you play the Cole. Spray, pray. Go Cray. Let's see it. I think Pult is normally good versus this, but like, I don't want to lock myself in a surf. If you ever don't have to lock yourself in a surf, you're in such a good position. And that's one of the things that Latias brings to the table, is you don't have to lock yourself in a surf. Groudon, Porygon. Are they going to ally switch P2 me? I wouldn't even be mad. I'm just throwing out there. I, I wouldn't even be upset if they did that. And by the way, Groudon, thank you so much for making me take less damage from my surf. What a, what a, just an upstanding gentleman of a person over here. Yeah, let's go. Attack boost. We laugh at those. Uh, they're going to get their Trick Room up. I can't stop the Trick Room. But I can try and one-shot the Groudon if they want to play bad. Or do I just go after the Porygon? I don't think I one-shot Groudon if they max it, especially if they're vested. So I actually think the right play might actually be to bulk with, and then next turn use the Alley Switch with my Zacian. Because, like, we're dead on this Cole slot. Is, what if they're like protecting route on you know i think i'm just gonna set my dot i think i'm just gonna set the dot because i know they're maxing with draw route on bro we don't even take that bait we go after your porygon bro we don't even take the bait and now they're gonna think that we don't have overgrowth they're like Psh, if they had overgrowth they would have totally hit me and i should have <laughs> but uh, you know what we respect porygon in this house you can totally get your trick up ain't, ain't no one stopping you from getting that trick up we know three of your mons right now Zacian's great versus these. I might just kill your Porygon if it's like a full HP defense build, but it's probably gonna live. It's probably gonna live. Oof, that does so much, even with the sun up. But the steam engine is active. And uh, let's just see what we got over here. Do I care about Porygon? Like, let's, I, I might just go after the Umbra next turn. so much damage that's so much damage that's a lot and then trick room right yeah awesome cool so we can kind of waste our trick room turns here for the most part that guy's gonna take out in a couple turns he'll take out next turn if he doesn't recover so he has to recover which means we can just go after the Umbreon. 
we need to switch out our Latias. We have a Pokemon to switch into that can use like a Levitate. So we're gonna switch Latias out. Probably for Zacian, as weird as that sounds. Just so we can bring in Ninetales to take away the Hail and stuff like that. Or do we want the Ninetales in right now? No, I like that when the Ninetales be at full. Yeah, just go for a vocal with into the Umbreon slot. No reason to go for a Max Flare, right? No, actually, Max Flare is way stronger. What am I doing? What am I doing out here? I want this Umbreon. I want it Umbreon gone. And you can totally recover with your Porygon. Ain't no one caring over there. I think we're in a good spot. We're blowing a little bit of our max turns, but, like, I think we're going to be okay. The fact that we have Ninetales, I think Ninetales goes pretty good into, like, Groudon. Especially if we have a vocal with ticking. Eerie Impulse. That should be okay. So Porygon's gone. It's it's Dunzoed. Snarl? Zashi doesn't care. Cole's at like minus three, but like Cole got the dot up. And Cole can be a big bully. So like I can go double protect next turn into like a switch out one of my mons for Latias, spot of the other, wait out the max turns of the Groudon. I think this is okay. Cause look how much damage this does. Like that's so much. And if you want to send it your Groudon, like that's that should just be fine. I don't I don't realistically care. That's a lot. So you're probably going to want to Moonlight relatively soon. And I just got to wait. If I wait at the Trick Room, I'll win the game, I think. I think if I wait out the Trick Room and preserve my Zacian correctly, I will win the game. So we're probably just going to double guard. Next turn, Fodder Cole, switch out Zacian for Latias. Fodder Cole that turn. Bring out the lot. Bring out the Zacian. Maybe switch in Ninetales in there if we need to. And just be in a general pretty good spot. Yep, there's the there's the LEG big grout on. Yeah, three turns on TR. Yeah, I don't see a problem in like double protecting here. I I don't. It, Zacian's gonna have to take a little bit of deeps, but uh we don't just want to lose a mon this turn. And then next turn we switch. Fodder a mon potentially. Worst case scenario, if they want to go for like worst case scenario would be like a moonlight. Yeah, good. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad they're switching. Um Charizard, that's fine too. Cool, take some rocks damage. They're not maxing around, so actually both their mons are going to be taking uh, damage from the rocks. That's good. That is good for me. So that means when they do decide to max, they will be maxing off lower health pools, which is amazing. Yeah, Charizard's going to take solar power too. That's... I mean, I know they want to max this art too. That's the thing. It's like, I know you want to max it, but it's like... That's a lot of health you just gave me for free, buddy. Alright, so we're going to switch out Zacian for Latias. I mean, Cole's basically just gone, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Solar Beam under the Groudon. Just in case I want a sub. Still should have enough health to break a sub. Uh, I think they're going to max the Zard, but we'll see. Hopefully they don't, like, Airstream on the last turn. That would suck. Because Zacian's not too hot against Zard. But it is if we can maintain speed control. We outspeed it right now. Ninetales outspeeds Zard. Latias outspeeds Zard. We can Icy Wind if they start using Airstreams, I guess. I wonder who they're maxing. That's the whole thing. It's like, who are you? Are you maxing this? Is it like a Scarf Zard and you're maxing your Groudon? Which is probably the way you should be playing it. All right, so there's maxing Zard. All right. Cool. Yeah. Damage versus Groudon if uh, they miss their P-Blades. What's their max quaking, my boy? Cool. Awesome. Like, like, I really care, right? You know, P-Blades go for it cheap. Levitate those. Levitate. Never lucky, though. So Cole's gone. It's the last turn of Trick Room coming up. And there's the Airstream. So yeah, they, they know. They, they're good. Good player alert right now. So they're going to Airstream. I wonder if that makes them faster than my Zacian. They were an Airstream Azashian slot. What an absolutely masterful play. And they're orbed. So, like, orbed, solar power, and the rocks. Holy moly. I think Ninetales under speeds now. I'm gonna I'm go, go for it. I mean, it's now or never, right? These Ninetales will underspeed the Zard for sure. So, do what we can with what we have. I think you have to Icy Wind. I think Ali Switch is good, but I think you have to... It, actually, this table will be better than Icy Wind here. 
Ice Seed won't actually be able to hit the Groudon in case we need just a little bit more chip. I think I think if we don't have it, we don't have it, you know? So just go for the Blizzard. Let's see it! The Zard's gonna outspeed our Nine Tails right now. So it means because of this last round trick, I mean, yeah, you, you have to do all this. Like, I'm, I'm super conditioning all these things here. There's the Blizzard. Big damage against Umbreon. Okay, freeze. Oh, we take those. Wrong target, but we take those. Yeah, and then a Tailwind. You're gonna uh, you're gonna go for an Airstream again, but like your plus two doesn't keep up. Wildfire. Oh, he's not even going for the plus two. That works. We we're gonna just have Zacian. I th I think that's fine because Zacian will just I just ignore the Umbreon for the rest of the game. Zacian should be able to take out the Zard. I think. Yeah, Zard's gonna go away. think about this actually this might be bad this might end up badly for me uh, do i have any vocal with turns left i don't want any i want that umbreon to stay there forever that's what i'm thinking i'm like don't don't vocal with <laughs> i i think the vocal is already gone i think that was the last turn last turn don't die no more rocks okay good <laughs> yeah because like we just Whenever you get a freeze in this sort of situation, ignore the thing. Just ignore it. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. He, he can totally go for protects and weave in as many sort of little... How do I word, how do I word this? Like, whoa, what is it? The wildfire and the every other thing? But, like, that's fine. Like, ignore the frozen thing. Literally just ignore it. Hit the thing that's not frozen. And play to your outs. Blizzard Big Busted. He's going to protect Zard. You got to protect Zard here. That's such a good play to protect your Zard. You get to try to wake... Try to unfreeze... Um, protect, protect Zard switching Groudon could also be seen as a really good play because it makes it so Zacian has to go single target. Let's see it though. Yeah, you just ignore him. All game. I'm going to hit that thing last. So I'm going to take Wildfire and Hail. It's going to do a lot. It's going to eventually do quite a bit. Oof. Uh, I hope I have enough health to make this work. But as long as the Umbreon doesn't like Thaw... And foul play me, I'm in a great spot. If that's... No, we saw Life Orb. It's not Scarf. He's trying to wait at my Tailwind as well, but like... We're fine. We are golden. Tailwind Latias, big busted. There we go. So Zard's down. He should have went for a double protect there. And then Groudon's going to come back out. And Groudon's probably going to protect as well, trying like wait, uh, help Umbreon, you know, thaw. But you're still frozen. You're, you're not going to unthaw. You're not. I'm going to hit you last. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. So Groudon's probably going to protect here, right? Groudon might not have it. He switched out twice in terms where he was pinned. Notice that. He did. He switched out twice two times he was pinned. So let's see it. Can I even kill Groudon from there? I don't know if I can kill Groudon from there, actually. That's a that's another good question. I kind of thought that he was lower. Now let's try it. Let's roll the dice. He might miss a P-Blades or something, too. Ignore frozen Pokemon, win the game. Groudon protects? Hey, go for it, Chief. Go for it, Chief. Go for it, son. Okay. Yep. He's like, why am I frozen? It's sunny. <laughs> All right. Yeah, as long as I can kill this Groudon, I think I got it. <sighs> Take one Peter's out. That's fine. Yeah, please go away, Groudon. This is a behemoth blade. All right. I'm a big, I'm a big guy. Groudon has like 150 base defense, though. Ah. <laughs> uh... Let's see it. Is he going to go for the double protect? He should have been doing that with Zard. He's thinking about it. Going for the double. Yeah. I, I don't I don't hate the double. I, I don't. Because if you could have got it, it would have given you another turn with Embryon. But like, you might have been able to just eat this. So it's like, you're going to feel stupid if like you just live. Yeah, see, don't you, don't you feel bad now. Citrus or Pinch? Alright, so the real question is, do we just go after Umbreon here? I think the answer is no. I think we can kill that thing literally whenever we feel like it. I think I could steal a KO on Umbreon here. 
But um, I think you just go after the Groudon. Because I think this turn you might expect me to go after the Umbreon. I guess not. Oh my gosh, this game's going on forever! <sighs> How many turns can you be frozen in a row? There we go, he finally did it! Shoutouts to our opponent for the absolutely masterful play. Took him long enough. We're gonna get to kill the Groudon here. I could have just hit the damn Umbreon. I'm not even mad, we shouldn't have won this one, so... I'm playing to my outs, but like, there's no way he'll let me win this one, probably. We, it has to have foul plates in Umbreon. So we'll take out the Groudon. They'll go for a foul play. They might just kill me. But we'll play it out. And there's a big, like, Moonlight here or something and play weird. Like, we can just play off him in the face. Foul play. Yeah, good play. Yep. Big nap time. Alright. How many turns were they frozen? Like, six? And I don't, I don't disagree with, like, leaving that Umbreon up. I don't. I, I think that, like... If I would have went after the Umbra on that turn, and they are just like, Ha, I didn't protect with my Groudon, and they hit me once, like, we just would have lost. So, you know what? We almost won that one. We literally, like, almost won that one in a situation where we had absolutely no business, like, coming back. So, like, we definitely take those. Uh, being able to get real, real close and play to our outs feels okay. You know, a lot of people are like, ugh. Like, it feels so bad to lose, but, like, in that game, like... We literally couldn't have done, like, anything else more than what we did. So, we, we played to our outs. We used our Ninetales correctly. Uh, we disrespected the Groudon turn one. We went after the Porygon. Like, I feel we played that pretty well given the tools we had. Like, considering the fact we tried to bring a Cole to a Groudon, you know, team. I think we did all right. Hi, Ogre, huh? Ooh, and there is a Ferrothorn. All right. So, I, I kind of want to try Cole, but, like, I don't know if they'll let me get away with that. You know, I'm going to try the Cole. Cole work? Cole's fat. Is Cole faster than like Ogre and a Tailwind though? Yeah, I don't know. Do we try it? Did they go Tailwind? I I'm pretty sure that Pult's still faster. I just don't know if Cole is faster. Uh, this is a hard situation to be in actually. I think I'm just gonna lead Gastro. I think leading Gastro against like Ogres is usually a pretty decent way to play it. And then, like, just Zacians. Because, like, if they want to use their Rillaboom, like, Zacian just melts their face off. And then, I think Ninetales can be really, really good. But then, like, how do we enable our coal? Like, we're going to need to use the coal at some point. I think Cole Latias might be okay. Because, like, Ally Switch is going to be pretty good. It'd be nice to Encore those fake outs with Ninetales, but I think, like, this is probably the best that we're going to get. You know, in case the Latias sucks, Pulse better. Pulse just better. It can outspeed things and go for like Phantom Force and stuff like that to waste max turns. I like that. So wish me luck here. Don't really see Zapdos that much, but I think Zapdos is good. I'd, I'd rather fight Zapdos than Thundee. Um, just throwing that out there because like Thundee is just Prankster or Defiant can be both really hard to deal with. So Zapdos is just like a decent special attacker. Kyogre Torn, awesome. So this is exactly like I kind of thought they'd go with. And the cool thing about this lead for us is like we can kind of just do whatever we want. They kind of they kind of have to tailwind, other than otherwise it's like they just get rolled over by Zacian. And then if they max, they still get rolled over by Zacian, right? So if they want to max, they also can't like max Geyser because there's Gastro on the board. So I, I think the way to beat this personally is just to go for like a yawn into the Kyogre slot and just protect Zacian for a turn. It's probably the best that we got. Probably the absolute best that we got. So let's see if they're a good player and they taunt our Gastro, which they should just be tailwinding. Yeah, awesome. So like, they can't do anything here. Kind of. There's a spout. Bro, the raw spout. They really, really wanted that, didn't they? Wow. So Storm Drain, that's a plus one right now. Should we just max the Gastro this game? Kind of. Like, Yon's kind of dope here. <sighs> let's see. So I think that we... Like, dude, I, I can eat the spout if I have to. I think we're actually gonna double into this because I think they might just hard switch in Rilla there and go for Hurricane into the Gastro slot to put me through range for Gassy Glide. Ooh, draw Tornadus? Really? You're really doing that, huh? Inference Sin. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Your Kyogre's really just sticking its guns out here, huh? Hey, go for it. Go to sleep. I don't care. 
I, I kind of can't. Okay, double switch. All right, into the roller, right? That's what you should have done. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. So I did the right play. I was like, I know you're switching the ogre. Because, like, if you didn't, you're nutty. And if we take out the roller here, that was a good play from them switching this in there, too. Because they didn't, they would they would have lost it this turn. Because the Behemoth Blade plus Scald is just a lot of damage last time I checked. If we can preserve Gastro, the game's over. There's That board can't break a Gastro. That's game we won. That's a crit. We take those. I do be taking those, actually. I, You know, I'm rewarded for my right play. That's, that's game. We just max the Gastro now. Torn can't catch us. All we do is take the Torn out. We're also at plus one right now. So that's just super game. Super game. They're, they're probably going to max this Torn. Um, I'm just going to double into it. I wouldn't be surprised if they scooped, to be completely honest. You, like, have to max... Oh, you guys should just play for Confusion. There's not... I'm not saying they should scoop. They can play for their Confusion. They're maxing it, though. That's the right play. You have to start just getting damage onto this, uh, this Gastro slot. It's way too big. And these, these guys praying, it's like, please don't max your gastro. Please don't max your gastro. And it's like, you, you know what I'm about. <laughs> you know what I'm going to be doing here. We be maxing gastro here. Taking out that real boom. You love to see it. Grassy terrain as well. So we get like grassy terrain plus the leftovers recovery on our gastro. It's really, really good. I wonder if I'm just going to go for the fake out or the raw parting shot. If you don't go for this fake out, I'm bust you open with this behemoth blade what if they fake out the gastro that'd be funny to stop a yawn that'd be kind of nutty it would not work airstream all right so they're they're going for just the raw attack of some sort hey that's the right play like i said going for the attacks on the gastro is the right play that would have done a lot to a regular gastro who's that i wonder who they're party shotting outspeed my zashian in the tailwind tailwind plus an plus an airstream this is still fine. Um, I actually think we're still going to do like over 50. I think I still think the Torn's gone. Plus one rain boosted max geyser and a minus minus one behemoth blade. I still think the, the Torn's gone. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. Boom. Eh, maybe a will live. It's a bulky guy over there. Oh my gosh, Gastro's so freaking good. Another crit, yo! The world may never know how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop. That feels great. That just feels absolutely wonderful. Hey, you know what? Like, I think Ogre teams actually have an advantage versus this one. It's just that the really, really good players, I would say are a lot better about using their Rillaboom. You can't just switch it in. Like, if you switch it in, especially if there's a Zacian on the board, like, you risk that happening. And it's all about, like, minimizing the risks you know i liked what they were they switched the incentive to make it so our zashi needed the crit but like i got it you know what i mean you could have just fodder the torn and you know brought in the rilla and then pinned me to where i have to protect or switch out the gastro and then from there you exude your pressure make it so the mons that i switch into like look i don't have good switching targets for water spout in the back really um so like you would be able to win from there you know obviously hindsight over nine thousand, but that's just how it do be I don't want my Zashian being triple intimidated. Yeah, just scoop it up. Big Gastro making plays for days. Rhyperior yep. Reshiram? Yo! Whew, this is why this guy chose violence today. I'm just going to go cold. I think this one's the game. I, I don't see how you get out of this. Sash, maybe it's a weird, weird Sash set. We should be golden. I, I like Ninetales here too, believe it or not. I like all of my options here. I, I even like Gastro here a lot, but I think these are the right ones. I think Ninetales is great here. This should be this should be a free win. Right, there, this, I, I very rarely just say I should beat stuff. I should beat this. I got the Overgrowth for the Rhyperior. I got the Overgrowth for the Melodic. I got the Fire Attack for the Rilla. I got the Vocalith and for literally all the other stuff. I got the Fire Attack for the Mind Shelf. I need it. It's probably Sash on the Mind Shelf. Probably Policy Rhyperior. I like Rhyperior. I think it's a cool mod. Probably actually lightning rod right here in this team, believe it or not. But very rarely do I kind of just say I win. Maybe just because we won that last one so so easily. But uh, I'm calling the wins here. I'm calling the wins. 
And let's see it. You know, we would. Yeah, even if they have something like weird, like there's there's like no speed control on that team other than the melodic too. Yeah, go, go for it. You can. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna just pop your melodic in the mouth. I guess you can go for like Dynamax. I guess you can like Dynamax the Rilla and go for like a. Um... Ooh, let me actually think about that. Do I just want to set the sun? No, I don't want myself to get hypnosis. No, I think it's better to go for the melodic. Yeah, I'll just I'll just play standard. I think I got it. I really don't want to get quaked by that Rilla, but like, oh, whatever. You know what I mean? I think that I think getting the melodic off the board makes those Zashin kind of just wins. But let's see it. They had to have level like this for a reason, right? That's the thing is they had to have thought that this was good against something. Maybe it's Rindo melodic, and maybe they have the skills to pay the bills. They're maxing first, so they are maxing probably Rilla, which was our worst case scenario. But then we just send out our Zashin. I think Zashin just rolls over the Rilla. Ooh, they're maxing the Melodic. Again, if they're... This is Grassy Train boosted over with, by the way. They have to be Rindo, I think, or otherwise they're gone. I don't, they could totally be EV Train to live it, though, too. But, like, I don't know if they're EV Train to live it with the Grassy Train that they set for us. I thought about going after the Rilla and just setting the Sun to make it so, like, uh, it wouldn't be able to... Like one shot us, but I, th I think we're super dead. No matter what they hit us with. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. It's about to get dicey. Grassy glide. Ooh, ooh, big damage. Surfs up. So Cole's gone. No matter what happens here, Cole's Cole's done. But it'd be cool if I could KO your melodic chief. That'd be dope. That'd be absolutely. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. You, you got that window? You got that window, though? Oh, I see no window. That's a plus two. Grassy terrain boosted. Colossal. Wow, you're a bulky boy over there. Did anyone tell you you're a bulky boy? <laughs> Looks like you're a little bit of a bulky boy over there. That's fine. I'm going to play from them. So they set the rain. Pretty sure I won't take it out. I think our best play is probably going to have to be just send out Zashian and go for the Behemoth Blade into it. And then hard switch out the Pult to reset its Scarf and bring out Ninetales. Which kind of sucks that we're getting our Ninetales like this because, you know, you need a Grassy Guide in the face, but it is what it is. Zashian can two-shot both those guys. So, well, Zashian probably can. You know what I mean? Like, what is it? So... Yeah, Behemoth Blade, not very effective, is still going to be a really, really strong move. Let me think about it. So, a Behemoth Blade, we know they're switching here. Behemoth Blade is a 150 that doubles to a 300 and goes back down to 150 versus Player of Stab goes like 145. So, it's still stronger to Behemoth Blade at a Dynamaxmon. Hopefully, it takes that out. We'll see. I wonder if they'll like protect high horsepower, do something weird. If we lose our nine tails, like if we get our nine tails like hit hard here, that kind of sucks. It's not the end of the world, but still kind of sucks. Max guard, yeah. So they're probably I don't know who they're going after here. They can go after either of these targets. Grassy God's great on nine tails. Yeah, that's good for them. They're trying to get an extra tick of the grassy terrain. That's why they did that though. I think it might be a banded Rilla to be able to actually do that much to a Ninetales to just like raw clock the Sash. I think it might actually be banded. This is harder than it's looking. It's looking like not that great here. Again, we, we gotta get the freaking Ninetales or the Melodic off the board. Kind of want to just ignore the Rilla for a while. Like just protect. Bait it into grass one one turn. Yeah, it did it's totally banded. I'm probably should be able to eat one one banded attack. Maybe it might have been a better idea to let the nine tails die this turn. Yeah, we'll see. So far those guys playing really well though. Melodic should be going down to this behemoth blade. Should. And then it's all a matter of like can Zashian check the rest of their mods. They haven't even used their restricted yet. This is gonna be kinda difficult. I mean the restricted's Reshiram. Um, yeah, Behemoth Blade does a lot to that. Dragon Darts does an absolutely massive ton to that guy, too. 
Let's see. Pretty standard protect. I'm thinking they're banded. Yep. Hopefully go away, please. Hopefully go away, please. You are a Dynamax Mon. I don't want any part of this. Shoutouts to Eevee training. Yo, this guy is amazing right now. Yeah, they're gonna get the KO. Probably not. Is it a KO? No, it's not a KO. But they don't die to the, uh... What is it? They don't die to the whatever move anymore. The hail. Damn, that's a bulky melodic. Alright, let's think about what we need to do in this situation. I don't think I can kill that Rilla. Like, if they're gonna have to EV train like this way, like, that was a really good EV spread. Because it can cover both the Zacian and, like, the Cole double into. I think we actually have to just ignore the melodic this turn. And just, like, hard switch in Pult. Soak some damage on a Grassy Glide and just try and pin the Rilla in a situation where we can tap the rest of the health on both these guys with, like, a Dragon Darts to finish off the melodic. And, um,. Dragon Darts are like 25-30% to the Rilla. So protect. Protect Melodic. Switch out Melodic. That's totally fine. Like, we were literally ignoring that slot on purpose. Yeah, that works. Dragon Darts going to be big here. Grassy Glide. Oh my god, that's still so much, though. I have a lot of health investment on this Pult. Yeah, and I said that Melodic's like really low. It's within the, it's within the range for Ninetales to finish off, too. That's fine. As long as I don't crit my pult, we're going to be fine. So I think, do you guys think player of plus one hit of darts will take that thing out? Or is the terrain gone right now? It'd be kind of nice. Oof. I could U-turn the Rilla and protect. No, I don't like that. I like, I, I'll go with the darts. Because if you protect with, if you switch with the Rilla, no, I don't, I don't know how I should feel about that. But I think this can KO. I think, I think one tick of darts and a player of should be able to take out a rush ram. It's neutral damage. And if you protect anything, like, something gets doubled up on by the darts. I wonder if I'm going to switch out the Rilla. I think switch out Rilla might be an almost good play. Grassy guy just going for raw deeps. That big banded Rilla out here. He woke up and chose it right now. The thing is, like, you have to go for, like, a ground attack. You have to earth power my Zashi, and it shouldn't KO. I'm going to swipe fucking policy. Which totally could be policy. I got, I, you got Bulldoze Melodic back there? Alright, let's go. Let's go! Yeah, awesome. Awesome! And the Melodic's at like one. Close game! <laughs> See, remember I was like, I win this one. I just, I just win. I just win. But, uh... Yeah, we do be taking these. He set the rain. I mean, it's like you have to go for like a ground attack and then it wouldn't have done anything if my Zashi and were too bulky. But yeah, Melodic should be tipped by the darts. And, uh... I don't know what the last one is, but I don't know if it could be to Zashian. I don't think it can. Hey, you know what? Almost. Unless that's... If, if it's Scarfed, our Pult is still probably faster. But, like, even if it is Scarfed, I think we're in a good enough spot to where we're fine. If the Melodic protects, uh, he gets hit by double darts and the Behemoth Blade. Is that a Custap? What the... F <gasps> what is that? Get activated! Holy crap! Cussed at melodic. Yo, that's absolutely nuts. Absolute. I've never, I've never even seen that. Good thing it's raining. Holy crap! Cussed at melodic. <laughs> what? <laughs> this man's nuts. He's literally out here being crazy right now. Literally crazy. I think Blizzard will take up from there. And Zard out speeds. <laughs> Whoa! He could have went. He could have went for the recover. He gives him a plus one priority. Cause that melodic. This man is literally out here, like. He's out here. If it's Scarf Zard, I will, I will actually lose. I, I think this is it. Uh, should I be protecting my Melodic this turn? Alright, he's protecting that. that. That's fine. He's not Scarf. Yeah, we'll just kill the Melodic with Blizzard. And then he'll take an extra tick there, and then the Blizzard will be single target next turn and we win. 
Oh my gosh, that was way harder than it had to be. Because remember, Zashin has an Icy Wind on it, so it's sore than Zard right now. But it's actually a better play to protect Zashin next turn, just in case Blizzard leaves him at like 1. Oh my gosh, what a freaking crazy game. But we take those. We definitely take those wins. Told you guys we'd take them. See, I knew. I had it the whole time. <laughs> I could just encore the Zard, but I don't want to get like messed up even further. I just want my win. Give me my win, please. No reason to show the encore here when we've already shown the Blizzard. Awesome. Cool. Whew. That was hard. That was so hard. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take those wins all the way to the bank. And uh, you know what? I think that's probably where we're going to call it today. Guys, thank you so much for watching my content. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. Be sure to answer the question today. Let me know what your favorite non-Pokemon game is. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to use this team, there is going to be a rental of it. It's probably already up on the Patreon. So if you guys like this team, you guys like the way it plays, you like the cool mods it brings to the table, think about checking out the Patreon. There's a link to it in the description of this video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.